In this video I'll be showing you how to do a basic installation of the application. Before installing, if you already have an existing installation of the product, I recommend that you uninstall it first. This can be done by going to the control panel, adding remove programs and clicking the remove button. The installation itself is broken into two parts. One is called the prerequisites and the other is the cut down install. I'm going to just run the cut down install because I have an up to date system that I know already contains the prerequisites. The prerequisites is explained in more detail in the installation guide and a, another video. So I'm running the setup now and I'll install the demonstration environment and I'll select the installation location and leave it as the default and let it install the, the files and after installing the files I'll be shown the client setup window. In the client setup window you'll see that I need to provide connection details to the system database and the AdventureWorks demonstration database. For the system database we use this connection to, to maintain the list of users and other settings that are server side and you can see that there are two connection types. One is Microsoft SQL Server Windows Authentication and one is Database Server Authentication. I only use the Database Server Authentication to connect to the system database. I have a server that's already been set up with a database, a blank database called Sharper Light. I'm going to connect to that and test the connection. And because it's a blank database, uh, the application will automatically set up the blank database with the necessary system tables. So if you already have a database that's been initialized, you won't get this message. So I've successfully set up the database. Just test the connection again. And now I'll go down to the AdventureWorks connection string and I'll put in the appropriate server name and the database name and my connection details and test the connection. If the connection does fail, it can fail for a number of reasons. Uh, I suggest that you speak to your admin admin officer to find out why the connection failed if it does. Usually it'll be something like they haven't opened up the ports on the firewall or something like that. Okay, we've created our connections and now we'll continue the install and close. After installing the product we can then go to the all programs application shortcuts directory and try out some of the, the applications. I'm going to launch server setup and what this will allow me to do is to view the users that exist in the system. You will require administration access to enter this program. If you have it, uh, just enter in your username and password details and then you'll be able to see the, the users and what systems they have access to. If your connection details are fine, this screen should come up. If the connection details are incorrect, you'll be thrown back into the client setup screen to correct them. The next step is to ensure that Excel has the add-in installed. So I'm going to open up Excel and go to the Excel options button and click on add-ins. Now I've previously installed the add-in so it's already appearing in the list but if it doesn't appear in the list you can go to manage Excel add-ins and click on go. 
then we can choose browse and we're going to browse for the installation directory and the installation directory will be program files and you'll find a file called MD Excel add -in .xll. This file location it will also be listed in the installation guide. Just select the file. Uh, I've already done this installation before, so it's asking me if I want to replace it. Yes, I do. And click OK. Once you have the add in installed into Excel, you can then launch the add in. So I'm going to the add ins tab and I'll do a quick test by creating a, a list of customer details. So I'll go to the add in and select table formula. Because it's the first function I've used in the add in, I'll be asked to authenticate which user I am. So I'm going to use guest and log into the application. Then I'll see the query builder window and I'll select AdventureWorks which is our demonstration database and then I'll select person contact and try bringing out a list of names. I'll just preview that data and that's extracted so I'm happy with that data I'm going to now go back to the workbook and extract the data into a Excel table. That's good, Excel is working. So I'll close that application and finish the install.